You know that feeling when you had a really important meeting yesterday, but today you can't really remember what happened. What were the key takeaways? What were the action items? Or maybe you recorded it, but now you've got an hour long audio file you're never going to listen to again. And if you did take notes, they're probably not that well organized and maybe scattered across different note taking apps on your phone and in some document that you can't even find. It is exhausting and frustrating. This fixes all that and more. This is the TickNote AI voice recorder, and it works seamlessly with the TickNote app. It magnetically connects to the back of your phone. You just slap it on, press the record button. You're recording. The transcript of the recording shows up in the app automatically. You don't need to do anything except press that button and that's it. It just shows up in the app, the full transcript, which is a big deal. That's not how most meeting recording tools work. No trying to figure out how to turn a recording into a transcript. No exporting and importing to different apps. That's really annoying. Copying and pasting into AI tools. No. Just hit record and the transcript is ready when you need it. That alone is a game changer. And it has become personally a big part of my workflow over the last few weeks that I've been using it. So I'll just give you one example. I often discuss upcoming video ideas with my wife during our drive home from the supermarket because we've got a kid at home. So <laughs> that's a good time to talk about upcoming video ideas. and. So we used to lose a lot of good ideas. By the time we got home, I'd forgotten half of the stuff we talked about. Now, I just press the record button on my phone as we start driving home and we can start talking without thinking about capturing it. And it knows who's talking too. It knows what I said, it knows what my wife said, so I'm not hunting through audio files when I get home. There's none of that really painful, busy work. I just sit down when I get home and start working on scripts, on outlines. And for me, for my workflow, it has been huge. In the app, you can quickly turn meetings, brainstorming sessions, lectures, personal memos, or whatever into structured notes, bullet point summaries, insights, takeaways, action items, podcasts, mind maps, and the list goes on. One thing I really like is the templates. This is, I think, a great feature. Not everything you do fits in the same format, right? Meeting notes look different from presentation plans, which look different from casual brainstorming sessions in the car. With AI-powered templates, your notes take the right shape, the right form for whatever you're doing. So they're actually useful and actionable. So for example, you choose a brainstorming template and then it uses AI to take the transcript and turn it into a summary perfectly structured for the brainstorming session. And then it just happens. It's like magic. And since you know it's going to be well organized, it frees you up to focus on what you're doing in the moment to really engage with other human beings, right? Which is what the focus should be. So it empowers engagement, communication, problem solving, and saves on the busy work. I love the mind map too. It groups ideas so that you can see the big picture and then dive into specific things as you need. In my opinion, it's about looking at things from a different point of view, which can be extremely useful. When you look at something from a different point of view, you might get new ideas, new insights, new ways of thinking about things, new solutions to problems. Another way to get a different perspective is the podcast feature. So you've got your transcript. You can turn that into a podcast, which uses the context of the meeting, the whatever, to create something original. And that again may help you remember key ideas if you're learning something or uncover new insights that you otherwise would have missed. What I like to do is generate a podcast and then listen to it when I'm on a walk or in the car because then I'm in a different frame of mind and things just tend to stick better. New things tend to just pop out naturally. It's pretty cool. 
Ugh, that's where I always get stuck. Every time I try a new tech tool, I spend more time troubleshooting than teaching. Right? That's exactly what happened to me at first. But I found this game-changing approach. You can also start a research project using the built-in AI, maybe to expand on a promising idea, a hunch you have, or something you want to explore further. Now, yes, other AI apps have deep research features, but you're always starting from scratch and often without context. The power with TickNote is that you're starting with your own context, your ideas, your conversations, and then expanding and going deeper from there. So it makes the research actually useful and relevant. For project management, this is really cool, you can build a project wiki, which is a space where all the pieces of a project come together, live together, add meetings, related files, images, maybe you took a picture of the whiteboard during the meeting, links, quick notes that you took later, and then TickNote uses auto-tagging, smart grouping, and dynamic links to access notes. So related topics sit side by side in the same context. So if something important and related comes up a week later, your wiki still shows that connection. Everything is still connected, which means you don't have to guess which app has the latest version of this or that. You just open up the wiki and continue where you left off, which again is a game changer. And this goes hand in hand with multimodal input. So as I said, attach a photo of a whiteboard or a slide from someone's presentation. Whatever the format is, that's how life works, right? I don't want to think about, oh, it's a, a PNG, or this is a TXT file, or a PDF, or whatever. I don't want to have to think about that. I want it to happen in the background magically so that my life is more convenient. My work is more efficient. So what does it mean to be more efficient? Well, that could mean all the things you no longer have to do scrolling through a photo roll to find that one screenshot or which folder was it and then finding the folder and then looking through the folder to find the thing right trying to remember wh which notebook did i put that on when did that happen all of that stuff we don't want to have to do that it's about not doing that busy work stuff so that you can focus on the actions that are most impactful and think about how much time a busy person spends on that kind of stuff. Searching, organizing, 10 hours a week, more. So then think about how much more productive you could be if you didn't have to spend that time doing that stuff. And I said this before, but I think it's really important. TickNote then frees you up to do meaningful action and meaningful collaboration, your best work. Also, I mean, we live in a connected world with people from different backgrounds who speak different languages. So let's embrace that. In TickNote, you can translate into over a hundred languages. A client can send you a quick update in another language. A teammate can reply in their native language. And both versions stay in the same project for easy reference, so everybody stays on the same page. You don't have to copy text and then paste it into a separate translator and then copy that and then paste it back. Just keep the flow and keep the context. Another thing I like is how interactive things are. Shadow AI is your personal AI agent that is aware of your, I know I say this word a lot, aware of your full context and can do things for you. Analyze, find more information, create content based on conversations and meetings, and do it in one workflow, not between a bunch of different apps. So think of it like having a personal assistant sitting there, taking very careful notes, the best notes you've ever seen, who can then take helpful actions for you. So you can say something like, what are the next steps this week? Maybe based on a meeting, make a checklist for me. Write a follow-up note that I can send to the team. Turn this into a brief for the editor. Turn this 25-minute rant that I did at 2 a.m. because I got some inspiration. Turn it into a quick elevator pitch with a strong hook, three beats, and a call to action. Draft a short email to follow up on that collab request from last week. Most AI tools 
aren't really aware of what's happening in your life, what your immediate needs are based on what just happened. But shadow feels like a high IQ helper that you don't have to constantly reprompt every time you want to do something, every time you need something. And I should mention that you can use whatever cutting edge AI model that you want. There's a drop down selector, you just pick the one you want and you're off to the races. Very cool. I think once you start using the Ticknote AI voice recorder paired with the Ticknote app, you'll start thinking differently about, about how you capture a lot of things in your life and work. You might start thinking of everything in terms of these individual context-aware projects that continue to grow and change over time as your ideas, as your work changes over time. It starts with a recording, an idea, a meeting, but then the next day you attach an image, some handwritten notes, a slide from a partner or someone you might work with or not and you're still thinking about it quick voice note, a link to something that inspired you. It's kind of like a multimodal notebook of sorts. The place where everything around this specific thing you're doing, working on, thinking about, lives, where the context grows. Whereas before, you're stuck with recordings you'll never listen to again, notes in notebooks that gather dust on the shelf, images in the camera roll that you have to scroll for 25 minutes to find, so why bother? Links you discovered but completely forgot about. We're talking about, I really believe, a new way to think and do your best work. And just a quick note on privacy. Isn't it awkward when you're in a video call and somebody's bot pops into the meeting? Who is this? Who is this bot? What is it doing? It's a bit creepy. Ticknote doesn't do that. Your data is encrypted and you decide what to keep and what to share. And that can be reason enough to use it in my view. I like to know what I'm recording and I like to know where it's going. I want that to be in my control. All right, so as a recap, press the button to start recording, talk through ideas, have a meeting, listen to a seminar, whatever. Tap to create a summary using a AI-powered custom template. Ask Shadow, your personal AI agent, for next steps, for anything you need, any content that you need, a brief, a checklist, a pitch, an outline, a podcast, whatever. Add everything to the project wiki so it stays together, so that it always has that relevant, useful context. Translation, so that all of my colleagues can stay on the same page no matter what language they speak, Solved. Files everywhere, who knows where, never again. The notes are there, the things I need are there, the takeaways are there, the insights are there. Nothing is lost. And maybe the real magic that I've realized over the last few weeks using this, TickNote doesn't try to take over the process. It removes things that I don't really want to be doing, extra steps that waste time, but it leaves the parts that really matter, the creativity, the collaboration. It lets you think about and focus on your work, your most important work, instead of the tools you have to use to get stuff done. It lets you focus on your life instead of a bunch of busy work, organizing, manually doing everything. When you need to move fast and get stuff done quickly, which for most of us is pretty often, boop, and then the rest follows effortlessly. So if you're still struggling to keep track of what happened in this meeting, to keep track of your best ideas, check out the Ticknote AI voice recorder. It's the future of productive, meaningful work.